Can Logan Paul redeem himself for the second time in his career? Investigating Logan Paul's biggest scam. That's a question you might ask yourselves after stumbling upon expose video after expose video. And we're going to outline several different reasons as to how Logan Paul destroyed his reputation once again. However, we first need to understand how Logan redeemed himself the first time after he was almost cancelled. On December 31st, 2017, Logan would upload a video where he filmed a recently deceased person while running around the forest wearing a Toy Story hat and trying to hold back laughter. The backlash was so bad that it became a widespread belief that Logan's career had ended. However, luckily for Logan, once you reach rock bottom, the only way left to go is up. On the 25th of August 2018, one of the most iconic events in YouTube history took place as KSI and Logan Paul had a boxing match in the Manchester Arena. It allowed Logan to finally drop his ego while having a chance to fight for his redemption. The fight resulted in a draw with fans begging for a rematch, and considering the amount of money they earned for the first fight, they returned to the ring for a rematch on the 9th of November 2019. KSI won the fight by split decision. Despite Logan losing the match, it wasn't necessarily a loss, because after the fight, Logan was generally respected by the public for his decision to finally work on himself and become a better person, changing his public perception. Plot, I got lucky as sh that my British counterpart, KSI, called me out for a boxing match. Logan Paul would announce on his Instagram live that he would collaborate with former boxing and YouTube rival KSI on a huge project. Both would partner in creating one of the most trending brands of 2022. Prime Hydration. The Prime collaboration was regarded as the final stepping stone into a new era of Logan Paul. He finally provided some real value to the world, showing the public that he had grown into a more mature person who had learned from his past wrongdoings. Not only did Logan Paul lift himself out of the hole he found himself in, but he also managed to make his haters into fans along the way. He's turned from a narcissistic idiot who did pranks into a genuinely good person who gives back to his fans. Logan is such a better person now, humble and everything. There's no doubt that Logan Paul's redemption was one of the greatest comebacks in YouTube history. Not many influencers have managed to come from a widely considered irreversible situation, yet dramatically change their public perception in a positive way. PewDiePie, Trisha Paytas, Alinity, and Logan Paul. At this point, it was generally accepted that Logan had officially solidified the title as a less problematic Paul brother. However, as they say, all good things must come to an end. The thing that I'm most excited for, and this is the first time I've ever said anything about this. For the last six months, I've been working on my own NFT project. September 1st, CryptoZoo.co, we have a massive team behind it and are probably out of pocket like a million. It's a common consensus that the crypto world has been polluted by countless different actors and scammers trying to sell speculative assets to vulnerable people. They prey on these people by hoping they would buy these cryptos, thinking they have real world value. While in reality, the people who run the cryptocurrencies are actually profiting from the people's gullibility. Logan Paul's crypto zoo has become the most recent example of that. It's possibly one of the most significant scam operations in YouTube history. In the three-part investigation series conducted by CoffeeZilla, CryptoZoo is exposed to be a blockchain game designed to earn you passive income. However, it never even worked. And the tens of millions of dollars invested into the game by countless different people were stolen. So what went wrong? Well, to answer this question, we must first understand the game's fundamentals. You started off by purchasing a cryptocurrency called ZooCoin. By using the currency, you can invest into egg NFTs, which would then hatch into an animal NFT. You then breed those animals to form another type of NFT called hybrid animals. From here, you could sell this hybrid for more zoo tokens, which you could cash out for real money or invest into another egg. However, the problem is, you couldn't even hatch some of the NFTs. Let me tell you, it's, 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 never, been, it's never been up. <laughs> Wait, you can't even hatch? No, it's, I'm telling you, it's just a picture. Sure, none of this is entirely Logan Paul's fault, considering that he has a whole team of developers behind the project. However, it was revealed that most of these developers and team members Logan had hired were literal criminals. Eddie Ibanez, the lead developer of CryptoZoo, was exposed to be a manipulative con artist who lied his way into the role. While another developer, Zach Kelling, was charged with multiple felonies, one for aggravated robbery, 
armed robbery at a liquor store, and another for obstructing the legal process. It's evident that hiring a group of criminals to help build your multi-million dollar crypto project was a bad idea. However, it was Logan Paul that didn't do his due diligence. This mistake would ultimately become the fundamental cause of CryptoZoo's downfall. Now, another point here to make is that Logan has advertised and promoted CryptoZoo countless times throughout the past, while knowing that there were fundamental problems with the production team, supported by the leaked DMs from one of Logan's employees. Logan, you stole $40 million in tokens from me. You are a scam artist. You are a liar. You betrayed your own community. You aren't that guy. Logan replies, Oh Jake, trust me bro, I am that guy. After CoffeeZilla's three-part investigation, viewers heavily anticipated Logan Paul's response to the situation. And on January 3rd, 2023, everyone's wishes finally came true. In the response video, Logan doubled down on his claim that CryptoZoo was never a scam, denying all the allegations and evidence CoffeeZilla had to support this claim. He even took shots at Coffee's credibility, claiming he is a lopsided journalist with an agenda. He is a lopsided journalist with an agenda, and he's nothing more than the Keemstar of crypto and finance. However, throughout the response, there were zero times he addressed the victims that have lost thousands of dollars, zero times he took any accountability, and zero times he apologized for promoting the scam. Sure, Logan wasn't at fault for CryptoZoo's downfall because his employees were scam artists and sabotaged the whole operation. However, when you're the main focal point of CryptoZoo's promotion, it's pretty much guaranteed that you will receive a ton of backlash when it fails. Only a few hours have passed since the response video was uploaded, however, it was already obvious that people were not buying Logan's response. Logan is the kind of person that drives through a parade and blames the car for running people over. Here we go. Time to see Logan defend his scams again. On the 6th of January, CoffeeZilla tweeted, Logan Paul called me. He said he's deleting the two responses and is dropping the lawsuit threats. Hopefully, this time he takes accountability and refunds the victims of CryptoZoo. As Logan Paul promised, the response video was deleted off his channel. And just a week later on January 13, Logan Paul concluded the drama by posting his final video response to Twitter. He explained his three-step plan for the future of CryptoZoo, which included a $1.3 million reward program for disappointed players. 